such a beautiful day hi guys how are you doing so oh well i'm going back to nigeria on thursday i need to do my covid test today because it's not it's meant to be like minimum of i think seven or be five days um before i leave like covid test has to be valid this is the test <sighs> i think i'm really scared of like the swab really going into my hand or my mouth or whatever but uh, let me just position this <laughs> so it's four o'clock now and the last collection time for my covid test is i think four or five or something but to touch the covid test i want to show you guys what's in it and i need to register my covid test so it comes in this bag it's a priority whatever where i'll check the test in it comes with a covid home test guide <laughs> it comes with where you keep it and i don't know i think this is what this is like the thing you sneeze in and um this is the swab this is the security seal yeah i think you have to put it on the whatever and I don't know what this water is for. But yeah? Yeah, have you watched the video? Yes. Okay. Let me just wash my hands. Please... Come and wear come and wear a glove. Well let me register my kit. So guys, I know I don't even know why I'm acting drama to be honest, but I think social media really, really made us scared of taking the COVID test. I mean, in my defense, but to be honest, it's not that bad. I don't know why the UK swabs are thicker and why you only get one. But when I came back to Nigeria and I redid my test, it was thinner, better, um, and then I had two different swabs for my mouth and my nose. I'll link a video down below on how to do your COVID test properly from NHS. Hi guys, so I just delivered my um, COVID test. So literally, because the last collection time was about 4.45 and I think I wasn't getting the directions well from CT Mapa. That's how I just started running <laughs> because I mean, they have to collect it today. If not, I would have to start counting. I don't want my test results to come out on the day that I'm traveling. because so I'm traveling 11 a.m. So, <laughs> If I this is literally the last time running. If I don't get it in today, I don't know. So yeah, that's that's what I did. And now I want to get and check for like Nigeria's requirement because I know that you would have to do another test by the time you get back home. But I know that there's a portal you're meant to use. I don't think that portal is working. I just want to find out what's going on in that area. And a parcel just came for me so I'm also going to try and pack that in the box as well and um, so yeah that's 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 all for me at this point hi guys good morning so this is the next day <laughs> number of boxes I have has increased from three to five um, let's just see that if you're traveling to another country you just leave like three days to pack it would have been much easier if like I already had like a while I was packing and like just dump it inside the box or if I was going for maybe a weekend but when you're like up and packing your whole life <laughs> there's so many decisions you need to make what you can do away with what is sentimental to you and stuff like that but <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot it's a lot I'll be fine <laughs> obviously I have to be fine today is Monday I leave Thursday morning so I only have Tuesday Wednesday I'm going to do my final laundry on Tuesday and then I aside from me packing I have a lot of work to do let me just let me just like say that one so I have to be doing this in between and then in the afternoon come and sit down with this clothes and make sure I finish packing and when I'm done like sorting out everything I'll still have to repack my other box because I I had the feeling that 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 box has excess luggage and I don't know I, I think it's just me in general I think I pack for my parents I pack for like most people and you will just know after some time like you will know which one is excess luggage and which one is not 
if you get what I mean, but <laughs> God forgive me. Um, I just want to have breakfast now, I'll get some work done and then in the afternoon I'll come down and do all of this, but I'll be alright. Hi guys, how are you doing? Long time no see. Your girl has just been packing. <laughs> ah, I'm printing documents. Apparently Nigeria is really strict to be honest and I'm really proud of them. So after my COVID test and everything, I had to print that. I also had to print out my receipts. You have to pay for a COVID test in Nigeria. So I had to print out the receipt for that. Um, I think I also had to print out a temporary QR code <laughs> that I would use in Nigeria, in the Nigerian airport. I had to print out my, um, I had to print out my access report also. <laughs> it's a lot it's a lot but to be honest i feel like um <laughs> i'm grateful to god like yesterday i was even stressed i was like god i have so much load that's like two years of my life in packing it inside boxes and literally you're only entitled to like two boxes 23 kg each so what i found out was like you can use someone else's air miles to pay for your luggage so i used the family members um, air miles which to be honest that was shocking but he was able to pay for an extra bag for me and um, i can also use him in but things i don't even have any other box to say i want to carry i really want to travel light so i'm carrying like three boxes a cabin luggage and my backpack my backpack is filled up <laughs> with lots of stuff but yeah i mean it is what it is I'm happy. No, I'm, yeah, even when I wanted to try to feel down, I called up a friend and then we just started looking for restaurants in Lagos that we're going to eat at. And apparently, it hyped my mood up. And my friend Jessica came today, so that was also really, really good. It was just good to catch up and everything. And like, we just shared testimonies and talked about different things. So, to, to be honest, I feel so, so much better now. Yeah, I'm going to sleep. I'm leaving for the airport by 5 a.m. My flight is by 11.27, so I want to oil my hair, put some mousse. And uh, to be honest, I think I'm going to tie a scarf because Corona. And I don't know if I want to lose in my hair by the time I get back, if I feel really disgusted by how they do their flights. But I have like sanitizing wipes and everything, so I should be fine. And I don't hope to take off my mask, but I just really need to like stay hydrated and all of that yeah and that's the plan but yeah that's it guys um see you at the airport <laughs> hi guys i'm on heatro now um <laughs> um so when i first came it's quite cold it, it was even raining today so when i first came like usually you can either check in online or check in when you come but they are like that it's too early and that the people going to lagos are a lot so i couldn't even check in like yesterday online and even now so i have to wait till like seven ish it's what's the time it's six six twenty five yeah <sighs> i'll soon gonna have breakfast and then i'll just wait till seven twenty i guess yeah Hi guys, so I've checked in now. Um, it, it was uh, the person was very nice. I think I had like one one that was more than 23 kg, but it was fine. Like I realized that they're just there smiling, so that like, person would be good to me. But yeah, it was okay. Um, I got like I said, I had like three boxes. I paid for the last one using air miles, so that was really good. Um, I'm about to go in and. Um, yeah chill i need to get a face mask because my face has been through a lot and um yes i think that's the only thing i'll get and i don't know if i'll get chocolate or anything i'll just see what's what's good in the duty free all right no problem guys i'll see you guys when i board
So guys, as usual, I was looking for my Neutrogena face mask. Like, these things are so scarce in the UK. So once you find it, just grab all of it. And I particularly prefer it. And then the store attendant was kind of like telling me about number seven um, products. And the face mask in particular. I'm like, this woman, she can market, sir. So I just supported her business, you know, because of COVID and everything. Business is kind of like slow. So to be honest, I just, I just got that number seven face mask. Not like um i really needed it but to be honest it was okay when i tried it um i won't particularly buy it again i would definitely be sticking to my neutrogena but it's all right guys i actually wanted to get perfume but i mean obviously i know that duty free is expensive more expensive than usual prices i hope you can hear me though but i mean like th these ones are just freaking expensive man um so let me go to the spot of the perfume i'm actually looking for So another store attendant was trying to convince me to buy Giorgio Armani My Way perfume, which I actually didn't plan for, but to be honest, it smells really nice and I think I would actually get it if I stayed in Nigeria. But they were not accepting cash at the moment, so I didn't even buy any of the perfumes. So I went to Fulton and Mason to get my lemon cord biscuit, which <laughs> I was going to carry back home, but I didn't even know Lonja was doing me and I ended up eating it. So I was proud of myself that I actually just went there to get one kind of biscuit and then I left without buying anything more. And um, I think the lemon cord is actually my best biscuit from them. I haven't tasted all, but I really like the lemon cord. I think it's better than the salted caramel and the ginger stems because I think their biscuits are more chewy than crunchy. So I prefer I think Catrite and Butler is still one of my favorite biscuits and then the followed by the lemon cord by Fortuna Mason. So yeah, that was the only thing I got. I was proud of myself. So that's how these people are being spend money. <laughs> but apparently I couldn't get any other thing aside from the mask because um, uh, yeah, I couldn't get any other <laughs> Sorry. You yes, guys, I'm tired. I think I'll probably sleep on the plane. But yeah, they are going to show Seagate. Oh, they just showed it now. Wait, what? C. Where are you? Where am I? I mean, A. Oh, my lord. I'm be going. So guys, someone actually asked me if there was social distancing on this flight. And to be honest, I didn't take note of it. But there was definitely space between me and the guy that was sitting on my row. And then I had to use my antibacterial wipes to wipe down everything. Because they do not give you, when you are entering into the flight, they probably give you at the middle. And to me, I'd already cleaned whatever I wanted to clean when they gave me mine. So I packed my own snacks because I thought, oh, I might actually be really hungry. And I might not like what they give me on the flight. But to be honest, I think BA did really well in terms of food i didn't have any problem with anything apart from probably one really tiny thing that they gave me but either ways i came prepared with my chips and my mini oat biscuits which i absolutely love then they gave us this document to fill 
um, once we entered the plane, I think like a few hours into the flight, and aside from this as well, they gave us like packaged food, which was really nice. Um, and I think they gave us twice. I mean, the meals are not so so filling, but it'll just keep your tummy occupied till when you land. So just make sure that probably you have extra snacks on board or you can ask i know the guys that i was sitting with were very lousy they were just oh god nigerians always show themselves so yeah So the flight back home was actually really okay, but seeing these guys in white just made me burst into laughter. I don't know why, but their faces were even funny. Like the way they were just looking, but I mean they were there to carry the elderly people downstairs and once I needed wheelchairs, which was actually fine. The elevators were not working, so they had to like carry them on their wheelchairs on the escalator. Can you imagine? It was just really weird. Yeah, anyways, everything was fine up until we reached the ground floor. That is when the trouble started. So basically, this is where they check your access reports, check your temperature, check that you've paid for a COVID test in Nigeria. After seven days of arrival, the queue was long. I'm not even going to lie. So if you could even beg the people, like the people from the UK, to please make sure that you see probably in front or something if you have a hair challenge, that would be great. I was like at the tail end of the flight. So I spent like three hours on this process alone, like this whole process from here to when I got my bags. Because after this check, you now start doing, they now start confirming my dress. In fact, I don't want to go through it, but it was a lot. Guys, another tip is to please dress comfortably because <laughs> Nigerians will always be Nigerians here. They just stay fighting. I don't even know what they were fighting about. Go by Nigeria to other developed countries, how things are not working. If I let me allow you guys to listen. They are pregnant. Let us go home. We need to leave this place. So guys, that's all for me. I'm so sorry I couldn't video further. Like it was just chaos from here on, and I don't even know why I even forgot about my phone and what I was using. Like it, it was so really survival of the fittest. I'm so sorry, but I really do hope you enjoy this vlog. And yeah, do let me know what you want me to film now that I'm in Nigeria, and I'll be sure to honor your request if I can. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.